attention. Just as it occurred with the James Foley video, Google and YouTube are once again censoring any coverage of a so-called ISIS beheading, even though there is no graphic imagery shown. As a precaution, I will be showing no video footage of any kind. YouTube and Google have no grounds to remove this video. Hey guys, RPR, Wednesday, September 3rd, 2014, and as many of you know, yesterday, Tuesday, September 2nd, they released a so-called uh, second ISIS beheading video. Steven Sotloff supposedly executed again, right? And well, those of us who are paying attention, uh, we know that this is, again, just another fake video. Yes, these beheadings, these so-called beheadings are fake. It's a huge propaganda campaign to promote, to prop, prop up ISIS as the big boogeyman that they are trying to have the American public fear so that they can justify going to war, invade other countries like Syria, and also blame them on possible attacks and false flags terrorist attacks okay this is what it's all about now we saw this coming because in the first video he said Sotloff was next and just like the next guy at the end is gonna be next and they're gonna keep releasing fake videos every week until they get what they want okay and then they had we had his so-called mother uh, give this bizarre plea right for her son's life tugging at the heartstrings again and you know it's just bizarre she's reading off a script she's robotic the same thing we always see time and time again here we go mother gives Salah's mother gives bizarre plea I'll leave you a link that's free radio revolutions video here now speaking of free radio revolution we have some bad news he recently put out his coverage of this Salah video and he has been shut down taken down and video removed yes this is what happens when you try to click on his video that he put up. Now this is troubling and concerning guys. Why? Because he did not show any video footage. All he showed was articles. That is all he showed and any anyone who watched that video can confirm this. Leave your comments below confirming this. I'm not lying. He definitely showed absolutely nothing. There's no reason for him to be taken down and video censored. This is the same thing with the James Foley situation. Everyone was being censored even though they admitted the video was fake staged so basically the first video was a toy knife giving him a throat massage but yet all of the videos covering it was being censored here we go again deja vu the same thing is happening right now people they do not want the truth out they are censoring it even though you show only pictures and articles once your video reaches a certain amount of views it will be censored just like his video was reaching 20,000 uh, within hours within the first day and it, they took him down so when your re video reaches a certain threshold you're at high risk for being censored but that's why I'm being very careful here and I will not show any video footage I'm, I'm only going to show articles but even minimize even minimize that because that's all he did but I'm not gonna back down I can't just not cover this you know, we can't be scared to not cover it. So I'm going to do my part and get this out there. Hopefully they don't censor me. But this is what's going on right now. And by the way, he's not permanently shut down, but he is suspended for two weeks. So he is locked out of his accounts for two weeks. He won't be able to make a video. All right. So that is devastating because we need Free Radio Revolution around to put up his videos. But now he can't. So this is the censorship that's happening again. And it's going to they're going to clamp down on everyone else. Now again, this is deja vu all over again, people. Let's recap, let's backtrack here really quickly. What happened with the first video, with the first Foley video? They came out and said it was authentic. White House says ISIL video of James Foley authentic. Yeah, it's real. And then what happens? A week goes by and it was absolutely annihilated, destroyed, exposed as being a complete fake Hollywood production. It was staged, right? And then they came out and admitted after all of us crazy people exposed it on YouTube and all over the net, the net, they came out and said it was fake. Experts say, right here, James Foley beheading video is fake, right? Of course, so it, even though it was fake, they still say he was killed off camera. Yeah, quote unquote, I think it has been staged. My feeling is that the execution may have happened after the camera was stopped. So there, even though there's no evidence for this taking place, that he was killed off camera, right? No evidence. Sound familiar? <coughs> but not in... <coughs> Bin Laden dropped in the ocean, cough, cough. Yes. Same thing as usual, people. They've been doing this since the dawn of time. 
you know, asking us to take their word for it with no evidence. Okay, again, UK Times saying it was staged. We have their, their whole analysis here. No blood on cut. Yes, it was fake. So here we have again this another carbon copy, right? The exact same area, the exact same place, the same type of video. And so they want us to believe this one is real? Are you kidding me? If you're going to buy this, you're an absolute buffoon. Sorry, but you are. Okay, this is absolute insanity. Basically, they want us to accept this as real, even though the first one was fake, admittedly. But no, this one's real. This one's real. Don't worry, guys. Move along. Right? Here we have Deja Vu. Again, U.S. authenticates video showing Sotloff's beheading. Authenticates. Obama. Video of Stephen Sotloff is authentic. Hmm, why is this so familiar? <laughs> Come on, guys. Okay? Authentic. Oh, then fake. Sorry. Oh. Oh, but... It happened again, but this time it's real, guys. This time it's real. Yep. And it's not going to be fake again. No, this one's real. Guys, we have to deflect this entire propaganda campaign. We can't be afraid of censorship. We can't back down. We got to spread the truth on this. They are planning to blame terrorist attacks on ISIS. They want to invade Syria. They want to continue their agenda down the path of World War III. And it will and ISIS will be the scapegoat. Period. That's what this is all about. Again, these are not how real beheadings are. These are not real beheadings. Real beheadings, take it from me, I've seen plenty in my time. Unfortunately, I've watched many years ago. And any beheading, you know, viewer that watches these you know sick videos will tell you that upon the cut, you will see blood gushing. You will see blood gushing all over the place upon the first second of the cut. A real terrorist organization will not skip the process of cutting the head off. That is why these are fake. These are not real. These are CIA, MI6, Mossad, Propaganda, Hollywood Productions. Real beheading videos show the actual process of the beheading, not fade to black and show a fake corpse afterwards. It is very simple, people. They are playing with the public and trying to fool the world. And if we let this happen, if we let them get away with this, all kinds of chaos is about to unfold. So do what you can. Please spread the truth on this, guys. Spread this video. Spread this message. And let people know what kind of censorship they are doing here. And let people know that these are not real beheadings. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments.